So let's talk about the Battle Pass today. So I've had a lot of questions about this. Obviously, the game has some elements where you can pay for extra power. That is just a reality of the game. However, the Battle Pass is something that I think a lot of casual to low spender players will actually end up picking up just to enjoy the game more, as well as, of course, the hardcore spenders in the game are going to want to pick up the Battle Pass as well, because it's going to be the most value in terms of money spent per actual power received. So I just want to go over the things that you're going to get from the Battle Pass, the things that you need to do to progress your Battle Pass, and whether or not spending a ton of money, or rather just the free version, is going to get you certain advantages or what you're going to be losing out on if you keep the free version. So let's jump into it. So while we're talking about the Battle Pass here, I'm going to have a video of showcasing the actual rewards that you're going to get per level of the Battle Pass. Now this is due from the technical alpha and the closed beta test, so it absolutely could change vastly, or it could change not at all. Just depends on what it's going to be like in global launch. Now, first thing I want to get into is the actual cost of the Battle Pass. There's obviously the free version. You're going to get solid, solid rewards from the free version, but there's also a $5 version, which is just going to get you the actual Battle Pass and the ability to actually claim the upgrade rewards as you progress through the Battle Pass. And then there's the $15 Battle Pass. This is all in US dollars. You have to convert it. I'm not sure if it's a one-to-one -one conversion, meaning I'm not sure if some other countries exasperate the price due to the fact that it's converted, but $15 for the upgraded Battle Pass. And that is going to be 14 levels into the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass has 40 levels. And so while all that's getting you is just extra jump to the progression of the battle pass that doesn't matter all that much i think that the main portion of the battle pass that you're going to want to pick up generally is the five dollar version and a lot of casual spenders are going to spend that and a lot of every whale is going to spend that obviously but what are we going to do to progress the battle pass well we're going to do just standard stuff we're going to have seasonal quests from each of the seasonal battle passes and they're going to be like activities quests that you're going to have to turn in and you're going to get xp towards the battle pass as you're completing these things, as well as XP towards your character as you complete the quests. Now, I do want to mention something before we jump into the things that are different between uh, all the different tiers. You will not get extra XP if you purchase extra levels of the Battle Pass. This is extremely important because it allows you uh, as a spender, or rather not allow you as a spender, to just buy your levels. It's really, really important that that exists in the game, and it's definitely not going to work that way. So, First thing is we're going to get the same amount of XP when we turn it in, whether or not you spend or uh, not spend on the Battle Pass. Super, super important. Now, as I mentioned, there's going to be the three tiers. The Battle Pass is, as far as I know, sort of infinite. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure. I've seen some articles that say that it has a cap at 20 at the end of the Battle Pass, and I'll explain that in just a moment. And some articles and some people that have said that it has an infinite scaling system. What I do know is that when you finish the Battle Pass at level 40, you will then start unlocking these specific chests as you gather more Battle Pass XP, and both free and the paid versions are going to get that. Now, you're also going to get a bunch of salvage material, whether you're paid or your free version. So what is that going to be? That's going to be your scrap materials. It's going to be your health. It's going to be your dust. It is going to be your reforged stones. It is going to be your rare crests. Those are the type of things that you're going to get from the free version of the Battle Pass. And actually, one of the more important things, you're actually going to get the legendary gems from the Battle Pass as well. So keep that in mind. It's not exclusive to the paid version. So you aren't just completely left out. Now, keep in mind that if you do get the paid version, you'll also get the free version. And so if you do purchase the $5 upgrade, what are you going to get? You're going to get extra legendary gems by like two or maybe two and a half times as many as you're getting from the free version. In addition to the ones that you're getting from the free version, you're also going to get the legendary crests. You're going to get a uh, scoria, which we'll talk about in just a moment. And you're going to get a few other nice bonuses to your account. So what is scoria? Scoria allows you to refine itself into hellfire scoria, which allows you to upgrade the heliquary, which allows you to actually access certain bosses from the heliquary and increase what's called offense rating and defense rating. If you don't know anything about that, I'll just briefly mention it real quick here. It's just going to allow you to increase your damage based on the differential between you and the enemy. So it actually can increase your damage significantly, and it is a very important stat, if not the most important. So that is huge, but it's not an absurd amount, and it will not, I don't think, change the game a 
huge, massive amount, but it is definitely a significant advantage if you do purchase the $5 Battle Pass. Now, as I mentioned, when we're talking about the $15 Battle Pass, you're just going to get the first 14 levels. So if you are a efficient slash you're going to be pushing the game quite hard, I imagine that the extra 14 levels is not going to matter all that much compared to the uh, regular Battle Pass. It's probably better to actually invest your money into other packs if you wanted to go for the $15 Battle Pass, assuming you're actually going to play through the whole battle pass if you're not then you might want to pick up the 15 dollar one because you do want to get to the finishing of the battle pass now i also want to mention that i'm not 100 sure if this is going to happen if you're free or if it just happens when you purchase the five dollar battle pass but there are some questions about whether or not you should pick up and what you should pick up in terms of packs like what uh what bundles are you going to want to look at when it's popping up? And I believe that they pop up during certain levels of the battle pass. And those packs are generally absurd value compared to the overall arching actual kind of just random things that are already in the game. I'm not going to go all in depth into everything that you could buy in the game because there isn't a whole lot, but I, I just don't want to do that in this video. It's going to be mainly about the battle pass, but I do want to mention that when you reach certain levels, you'll have access to new bundles and they usually are extremely, extremely good value. Now, I do want to mention one big thing in the Battle Pass that I think is probably the biggest thing, um, and that is Legendary Crests and Rare Crests are one of the big differences between the free and the paid version. Rare Crests can only drop up to level 2 Legendary Gems, which is one of the big things that everyone is complaining about in terms of pay to win in this game. I don't want to get into an argument about pay to win, I want to talk about the actual facts here, and that is Rare Crests can only drop to uh, level 2 Legendary Gems, Legendary can drop uh, up to level 5 Legendary Gems, and all gems can be broken down into gem power to upgrade your gems, which is generally what you're going to be doing oftentimes. So I wouldn't say that the legendary crests, uh, crests are absurdly, absurdly overpowered or anything, but they do give you an advantage. And it's something to mention here because we have had a lot of questions about the battle pass and all things like that. So I do want to, I did want to go over it here, but you can see here, the battle pass is actually extremely, extremely good value. And I would recommend picking it up if you are going to be a casual low spender or someone who's spending money at all. This is definitely the first thing you're going to want to pick up. Now, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments making fun of the fact that, uh, oh, we're playing Diablo in a mobile game and we're buying things, whatever. But also, one thing I do want to mention is keep in mind that you cannot buy levels in this game. So that is a really nice feature in terms of making sure that the game is not absurdly pay to win in that sense. So that is going to be the overview of the Battle Pass. Hopefully this guys give you a little bit more information in terms of what you're getting out of the $5 that you're spending on the Battle Pass, the actual price, and what you're going to miss out on if you decide not to spend it. And just to give you a little bit more information on how the actual monetization is working inside the game. Now, if you do want more content on Diablo Immortal, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button. I'm going to be creating a few more content pieces on some questions that I've had. So keep an eye out for those. That being said, I will see you in the next one.